Some artists spend time making that object breakable. And I want them to feel like their work is appreciated. Ah, uh, like the raven statue. That's cool. Ah! I gotta jump first, maybe. Almost fell off. Or you just destroyed their art? Well, somebody had to animate or destroy it somehow. Someone's, it's somebody's work. Oh, get in a big cage, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I don't know about you guys, but elevators look like cages. Not, I not ideal. I do like the pattern on this, though. Scandinavian tree. And the braid work. That looks cool. I want a coaster like this. Don't, wouldn't you guys buy a set of coasters that look like that? Here we go. You ready for the world? All right, the Tomb of Gales is where the first boss is. Make your way to Svali in the Tomb of Gales and gain his blessing. There we go, our first flight. Yes. Svali has sensed our arrival. I believe he was torn. He has torn. Oh, I didn't get to read all that. All right, we can look around, maneuver the raven. This was so well done. I remember having a lot of fun with this. All right, so that guides you to the main quest objectives and their side quests. And this is all, this is a roguelite. So this is a, this is, this character's one chance. When this character dies, we get a different random character. You can get, you can have a, there's different races in this game. Um, there's different, oh, there's increased speed and decreased speed too. Okay. Um, there's different weapons and different builds you can try out. So the goal here is to try to gear up your character and then approach the main quest boss and try to beat it. Let's see what this, okay, so this is a town. Hello, I'm here. Hold the transform button to go back into the form. With the Raven's Eye, you'll discover Raven Towers, treasures, and enemies. It also reveals the spread of hatred in your current objectives. All right, Raven's Eye is like this. I, I wish these uh, tooltips stayed on the screen longer or until I uh, cancel them. You can always revisit them, but... All right, did they say I could just turn back into a Raven? Sparkling, you just bought the game using my link. Thank you so much for supporting our sponsor today. I really appreciate that. If uh, anybody else w winds up snagging the game today, please feel free to tell us in the chat. We'd like to celebrate it. Thank you so much. And uh, using that link, gang, supports uh, this stream because they'll know that the purchase or the wish list or the traffic came from Bog Otter and they might want to sponsor us again to do something, so. I believe you don't take fall damage transforming out of Raven, yeah. Did it say that I can go right back into Raven form again? Because last time you had to go to specific places to do that. No, I guess you don't. I guess you still have to go to this over here. Yeah, okay, you still have to go to those places. Yeah, but there's no fall damage for that. Okay, cool. All right, let's get the quest. Now, these are simple little, like, uh, side quests, like fetch quests or kill something quests. The dead walk where the living do not. Or is it the other way around again and again? The dead take me in my dreams. I'm haunted by nightmares of my family falling into my lifeless body's attacks. I swear it's the Draugr sitting among the ruins and sending their nightmares into the night. Please release me from their cold grasp. Okay, sweet. Defeat the nightmarish Draugr. Okay, and, and if we return, we'll get some... I think it's, is it gold we get for this? The towns can do a couple other things, too. You can gamble with your money here. Right? Gamble 100 coins. 
See if you get anything. They have uh, a potion vendor. So you can get he you can get healed up. Purchase healing. 50 coins. What do we got here? Unlock a relic slot. Long ago said the power of the relics we keep uncovering could be enhanced tenfold through proper use. Proper use, in this case, being proper storage. Buy your reliquary, place whatever you wish inside, and see that same power return. Only potentially, of course. I make no promises. I don't know if I, I ever experimented with this when I played last. I don't know how that works. We may have to try that today. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And then over here... Is the vendor where you get goodies? True forged arms. Or Ramor's essence drainer. Your critical hits against a bleeding enemy consumes bleeding and deals 300 in increased damage. Wow. Okay. You think we did, but only like once? I don't remember what it did, though. You did? It gave you another equipment slot? But just for this run, Sar? Was it just this run, or did it... Yeah, just... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, have to, we'll, we'll look at that. Oh, another equipment slot for my relics over here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, these are the... Something like... So this is a relic, isn't it? When we equip that, it's going to go over there. Okay. I remember now. All right, let's go do this side quest and help this lady. Because she's having nightmares. So whereas a lot of uh, roguelites, you know, you go from room to room and there's a set amount of time before each boss. This, you can literally fly around and go where you want and fight what you want before you go tackle the boss. But they have this mechanic, which we'll probably see soon, called Hatred. And we'll see how that affects us. Probably should have landed right on these folks. All right, what do we got here? Skeletons? Jogger? They have a chest. Hello! Oh, sweet. After taking some damage... Okay, yeah, yeah. Some of the lost health is turned into gray health. You can regain by attacking enemies. All right. I think these guys are elite. They put purple stuff on me. Oh, I am getting slaughtered. Lady, you gave me a bad side quest. You gave me a rough side quest. <laughs> Woo! No! They're gonna kill me, my first little camp. I wasn't even looking at you, dude. I was looking at the other guy. Alright, who's the lowest health? We gotta focus them. With my two health left. I just wanted to show you guys what it's like, what happens when you, like, die. You know. So you understand how the game works. Two common elites indeed. All right. Well, that was rough. Damage taken, damage dealt. Clear time. Combat score. All right. We're getting some stuff here. 70 legacy. Okay. So, because we died once, we unlocked another weapon set. 
because we vill uh, visited the village of Valhos, we got 50 more legacy. And then we have another quest here that's in progress to get something if we kill 50 Utlagi. Yeah. Whenever drawing a weapon card from the deck, it is a twin axe weapon card. Okay. I remember the twin axes being pretty good. When you surge. Oh, these are the other things I haven't unlocked yet. Okay. Sweet. Are there gnomes in the game and can you play as one? I think you can play as a human. Uh, there's like an elk person and like a wolf person. Unless they added more. Okay, so these are the cards we've unlocked. We've collected 64 out of 182 cards. All right, and traits. We can unlock traits using that legacy. So the humans, whenever you drain a card, you gain 50 coins. Whenever you drain a card, you gain 10% weapon damage. And this was the mana. The Simlar gave you mana. Right. Sword and Shield Specialist. Got the Twin Axe. Twin Sword, Great Axe. Okay, so you can unlock different weapons. When you Surge, inflict weakness on nearby enemies. That seems pretty good. I wonder if you can have, like, all the traits at once. Or do you have to pick... Or, you know what? It probably, when you pick start a new run, it'll be one. Before I spend any points there, let's start a new run and see how this works. Um, I remember last time somebody said that you can eventually unlock the other folk or races uh, without having to spend money, but I don't remember how that works. Yeah. Let's try again. All right, so here's our here's our folk or our people. We get to choose. Vamad Dal, sword and shield defensive okay so yeah they will get one of those passive perks not all of the passive perks that you have unlocked are these on oh, this one has the twin axes all right let's try the twin axes i don't want to re-roll the vessels i think i, I think i spent a lot of legacy points re-rolling on accident it's got a, it should default to select vessel. Um, let me go back real quick. Is there a trait we want? Besides the armor? Oh, wow. This one seems really good. Doesn't this seem good? What do you think, Golomancy? When, while Frenzied is active, Perfect Dodge refreshes its current duration and extends it by 50%. Hey, it's Mugletart. Herds! What's up, Mugletart? 30% base damage, but multi-strike increased. Oh, or this one. But can you hit the perfect dodge that often? I have to. I have to. That's key to uh it's key to doing a lot of damage. This seems really good too. When frenzied is active, critical hit chance increased by 30%. You would go crits first? What do you mean? Like this one? This one here? And sorry, so I just opened the car door into my shin and let out a little yell and someone looked at me like, and I had to get into the car as quick as I could hide from embarrassment. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's 
it's only 100, might as well. All right, let's get this unlocked. Aggressive thrill seeker. See, now I want to re-roll the people in here. All right, that's unlocked. Here we go. What? Play. Are you sure you want to exit? Exit? No. I want to enter a vault. Here we go. They're going to give me the same three people, right? Okay, so we're not going to get the defensive till next time. All right, let's try the axes. Let's go in. Oh, I just re-rolled. See, I told you guys I was going to do it. <laughs> Devs, if you're watching, <laughs> default into this <laughs> so I don't spend my uh, points over there. <laughs> I did this last time, too. I did this two months ago. All right, but at least we get to try the aggressive thrill seeker. Um, yeah, let's try that. It's not going to keep spending my points just re-rolling on accident. With every vessel that falls, the raven watches from the shadows as the betrayer's hatreds ebb and flow across a vault. The tombs of its creators lie darkened, the lands outside fraught with danger. The raven waits and the raven watches. Will the next vessel be the one to face the tombs? <laughs> I hope so, because the other one died very quickly. All right. Challenge completed, die once. All right, let's try this again. Maybe we should start with the main story this time. That side quest was no joke. So the main the main quest, if I remember correctly, find the old Raven Towers and walk into the wind to transform into Raven's form. Raven circle above these towers. Okay. You can use the Raven's eye too. Raven's view. To find that stuff too. All right. Uh, if I remember correctly, the main quest has you cure like a scar of corruption and then some of the camps that you do in the surrounding area don't give you hatred when you complete them which is nice hey best bronze life i've never played risk of rain so i can't i can't compare the combat it, but hopefully you'll be able to tell after you watch a little bit. Yeah, here's the scar. Woo! There's crushers and juggernauts in there. I don't see the bad guy. Oh, yeah, I see one. Here we go. I don't know if I'm going to hit this here, but we'll try. Hi! Yeah, no, I did not. Hello. Perfect dodge! And then they stab me in the back while I'm not looking. I love it. I turned the sound down on accident. You've temporarily extinguished the hatred nearby. Well done. Let's see. If, let's see what is revealed. Okay. The surrounding area around the tear has been cleansed of hatred. Cleansed chests have a beam emitting from them. The beam color depends on the type of treasure. You can open these without absorbing a hatred fragment. I think that might be new, the beam. I don't remember the beam. Yeah. Hey, Cully Shark. Dudley shark, do, 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 do. What's going on? 
Welcome to our sponsored Ravenbound stream. This is out today. And it's been a lot of fun so far. Okay, so we get picked up only, there's two fragments there, so we still need a third. And we can absorb the mana here. All right, how much mana we got? We have five. Oh, wow, that's big difference, isn't it? They didn't give us five mana before for doing that, I don't think. I like that. It gives you a lot more to work with. Now I just need uh, some more cards. Yeah. Okay. So we have 150% crit damage. Crit chance is 5% with this character. And my... While frenzied, critical hit chance increased by 30%. Okay. Game is being much nicer to you this time around. Well, let's not talk about my first run where I died at the very first camp I tried. We don't talk about that. All right, where are the beams? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. We need beams of light. This camp does not have a beam, right? Or is that a beam? Oh, that is a beam. Would you say that's beam? I guess it's a beam. Let's beat this camp up. Oh, it kind of looks hatredy. That looks a little hatredy. <laughs> there seems to be hatred coming out from that chest there. Oh well, let's try it. We'll see what happens. Hello, I request a parlay. Oh, these guys are elite. Hello. This other guy's gonna come in behind me. Dude, while I'm hitting the other people, you unlocked gra <laughs> graves contain unplayed cards from other players who previously died here. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Trying to switch the other guy by just moving the stick again. Holy crap. No, we're gonna get out of there. Keep trying to block it when I don't have the juice. No, oh, get up! It's raining. And I died. Fudge! Those elite dudes are so hard! Man! Hey, Crimson Vandella, what's up? Thanks for the blesses, gang. Clear out 50 camps. I can't clear out one. All right. It's time to get back in and not spend any points re-rolling. Oh, it does, it does default over there. There's something, hmm. I don't know, something I did was wrong then. Okay, we can do Ah, see, I wanted to try the axes, but I really like the aggressive thrill seeker. Yeah, let's go. Ah. 
Or let's re-roll. No! If re-rolling use some other currency, besides the one that you have to buy, like, unlocks for your account, maybe I would re-roll. But until everything's unlocked, I don't think I would re-roll. The, the flight animations and just how this feels is so good. I wonder if you can unlock like different bird skins or not, or like different skins for the raven. been so impressive it was it was actually on top of an enemy wouldn't it hey hello hi guys oh man that stab Even a perfect dodge. Maybe I kill the one without the shield first. as good as last time. Then it would not be a raven unless you were thinking a little hat or a vest. No, just like different colors or, you know, maybe glowy runes for the raven. White raven. Still a raven. Okay. We got five mana again. We've got... Two thingamadoodles. I like how this time it's night. Was it night last time? I don't think so. Okay, so that's definitely... There's a beam there, yeah? Let's take a look. How much... They have elites. to dive bomb on them. We're gonna try. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Hello. Oh, what? I had it. Staggered. I got hit. Go! Nice! Okay, so we've got three fragments there. I'm gonna use them. Alright. You have enough mana for any of this. The thimble gives you weapon damage by 30%. The bronze ear hook, guard health increased by 100%. Hilt of the stolen blade, status effect... Potency increased by 50%. Hmm. I don't know if we have an easy answer here. Suggestions? 
thimble. Remember when we, we there was there was the thimble and then there was something that was more powerful. It was like a boar's tooth pendant or something that was ridiculously good. Remember that thing? Book in case you guard much. I think dodging is better than than guarding. Because dodging uh, uh, gives you a chance to do more crits. All right, let's grab the thimble. And we can summon that immediately. 30% more damage. Which is a huge damage boost. We can get another fragment here. Hatred gaining gained from empowering fragments will fill the bars in the lower right corner. Okay. You guys can't see that. It just started. Um, This is more mana, right? Oh, no. Another reward. Okay, yeah. Mana. Sweet. We can just grab that and use it. Six mana. 